Question number nine. The following reaction is used to obtain iron from iron ore. So it's uh, Fe2O3. I'll write it up here. Fe2O3 plus 3CO forms uh, two irons plus three carbon dioxide gas. Okay, so the reaction of 92.134 grams of Fe2O3 with 143.21 grams of carbon monoxide produces 2.45 grams of uh, iron. Determine the percent yield. So whenever they give you two weights, um, or sometimes it's two moles amounts, um, the, the, that's going to be a limiting reagent question. So what you have to do is you have to test both reactants that they give you and see how much iron those would make. And then whichever one is less, that is um, which one the system is actually going to make. Because it can only make, like if you, if you uh, use up, that, that one's called the limiting reagent. And then when you use all that up, the system can't react anymore and make more iron. So um, there's going to be some excess of the other one. So I'll show you how to do this real quick. So they said that you have 92.134 grams of Fe2O3. So you want to see how many moles of iron this is going to make. So you, you do that using the molar mass, which uh, you do that by, look, you look up iron and oxygen on the periodic table. So you're going to find that uh, one mole of Fe2O3 weighs uh, 159.694 grams. So what that's going to do is cancel out the grams of Fe2O3, and then your next step is going to be to convert this into iron. So you'll have two moles of iron for every one mole of Fe2O3. I got that from the equation. See so how you get two moles of iron for every one mole of Fe2O3. So those cross out. And then lastly, you're going to put this into grams of iron. So, let's see. The, mo the molar mass of iron is 55.847 grams of iron per one mole of iron. So the moles of iron cancel out. So from 92.143 grams of Fe2O3, you end up with 64.44 grams of iron. Okay? So let's test the other one now. So they gave us 143.21 grams of carbon monoxide. So same deal, we're going to have uh, one mole of CO weighs, what did I say, 28.01 grams. You can get that from your periodic table. You're not, you don't have to memorize that or anything. Like that. You're, you should get a periodic table on your test. Um, and then you use the conversion factor, so notice that you get two moles of iron for every three moles of carbon dioxide, that, or carbon monoxide rather, that react. So now the moles of carbon monoxide cancel out. And then one last step, it's the same as on top, you get 55.847 grams of iron for every one mole of iron. So those cancel out, and you're left with uh, 190 0.3569 grams of iron. So uh, you got 64.44 grams from the first uh, quantity and 190 from the second quantity. So this is what you're really going to get from the reaction because after this much iron is made, you've used up all your Fe2O3 and there's nothing for this carbon monoxide to continue to react with to make more iron. So this is as much as you're going to get. So, you can basically just disregard 
this from for the rest of the question. So now it wants the percent yield. So you remember percent yield, probably done this in lab or something. So percent yield is the uh, amount over theoretical amount. Okay, so the amount is 2.45 grams of iron. This is, this is given to you in the question, and that's telling you what you really got. So 2.45 grams over the theoretical amount is the amount that you calculated with the numbers that you should get. So over 64.44 grams. Now it does say percent yield, so you're going to want to multiply this by 100%, but either way, notice that the grams cancel out. So this number does not have any units except for that percent. And when you do that and multiply it by 100, you're going to get 3.80%, uh, which is answer choice number one.